Right, cutting a slate in the valley. Just a... A lot of people, and I've seen many of them do it, will try and put a mark here, put a mark there. Then they'll turn the slate over and try and find where that one is. And then try and find where that one is and draw a line. There's a simpler way of doing it. And basically you turn the slate on its back, on reverse. You will then line the top of it up with that one. And bring it across so that this corner meets up with that cut. And then I put a mark here, which is where that slate goes up, the one underneath. So if I move that up, you should be able to see it. So I'm in line with this, but I'm also in line with that. You then spin the slate round on its side. And again, this mark here needs to be in line with that one. That's in line with there. And that's following that line. Then put a mark there. And then we'll draw the line between them. So there, up to there. So that's our cut. But obviously if I flip it round, it will fit. Now I'm using hooks, so I want to cut on this side of the line to allow for the thickness of that hook. Um, if I leave this line on the slate, it'll end up too far over. So I'm basically cutting down that side of it. Flip it over, I've got the uh, edge already cut and that's perfectly in line. All I need to do is fix that on. Pop the nails. And then put a hook in. So it's an easiest way of doing it. Uh, what I tend to do is run up, I'll go full wide. So I come along four, then I go up in a straight line. So traditionally when the people slate, they'll slate along, I don't, I'm going up. Bung them in, and then basically you go back down, putting the hooks on. Um, pretty simple. These are 100 mil slate hooks. Um, so I've got 400 mil high, uh, high slates. So if you take off the head lap, which is 100 mil, which is your slate hook. Leaves you with 300 mil. Divide by two. So these battens on every 150 mil. And it's as simple as that. You just go down and you go back up again. So you go four up and you do your cuts at the top. You come back down. You go up again. You do your cuts. So you're not. When you finish a hip roof, you actually finish it at this corner. You're not up there. If that makes sense.